drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want Columbo's to return in Season 2. Fortnite have so many new secrets in Season 2 Chapter 3 that I cannot wait to go over with you guys in today's video. Coming from new secret mythic weapons, Columbo's returning, a brand new collapse and much, much more. So make sure you guys are watching the whole way through because you definitely do not want to miss out on all of this Columbo information. I am always gifting five lucky subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video, subscribe with all notifications turned on and leave a comment with their epic ID in the comment section below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code Apple One. It literally takes one second to put into the item shop and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys do go and enjoy the video though, but let's get into it. Fortnite have just enabled building inside of Fortnite again. So as you guys can see in these game modes, there are normal solos and zero build solos. So you guys actually can build inside of the season two map right now, which is actually quite a cool change. But I do personally think I'm just going to stay on the zero build one because it's just so much more fun, bro. But if you guys did miss building, it is now officially back in Fortnite season two. We have some pretty crazy news about a new concert coming to Fortnite being juice world this season. As his manager has had a secret meeting with Epic Games a few days ago about about bringing him into the Fortnite universe and also coming as a skin which is going to be so so cool it looks like Juice World will be coming out this season so make sure you guys are looking out for Fortnite to tease this all over the Fortnite island because you know what they're like with new concerts on the island but this season a lot of weapons got vaulted including the Mark 7 assault rifle but if you guys actually did store it in a tent before this season did start you will still have it in that tent this season which means you can use it inside of season 2 and it is so overpowered Obviously, there's no building right now, and this gun it has zero recoil whatsoever. So this thing is extremely, extremely broken. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys did store a Mark 7 assault rifle in your tents last season, and you guys have been using it this season. But even better yet, that the Mark 7 assault rifle and the combat assault rifle are now in the voting stage on the island that will allow you to unfold one of these weapons for the rest of the season. So make sure you guys are getting your votes in before April the 4th when the voting does close for your favorite weapon. I know what I'm voting for. 100% for the Mark 7 Assault Rifle, bro. The gun was just so, so fun to use. For secret number four, it's about the April Fool's joke Fortnite tweeted about yesterday. It's actually pretty funny. They tweeted that they've taken out building, obviously, and that they've removed all weapons as well for April Fool's. And I fell for it. I'm not going to lie. I loaded up thinking there was going to be no weapons. I dropped in and died to some guy with an SMG. But the best thing was even FaZe Clan fell for it. They tweeted about it, which I thought was really, really funny. We then have in-game leaks about a brand new vision skin coming to the game as well if you guys do use dr strange and head over to the metal team leader over at camp cuddle you'll get a special message saying tell me about your friend to the pink synthesoid and this is referring to vision so it looks like we will be getting a vision skin come out this season which i am so so excited for bro this skin is going to look absolutely insane maybe even come with the white style as well so let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for vision to come out secret six is about to Colombo. Colombo is missing from the island. We originally thought Fortnite just vaulted them for no random reason, but that couldn't be the case because when Colombo released into Fortnite, Fortnite officially tweeted if anything happened to Colombo, they'd eliminate all of Tilted. So Fortnite wouldn't have just vaulted Colombos because that wouldn't mean they had to remove Tilted Towers, but we do know where Colombos are. Dr. Sloan has captured them over a command cavern. If you guys do head over there, there are these two huge cylinders and inside all of these are Colombos. I have tried tried opening them with literally blowing everything up. I've even tried with a tank. Don't ask how I got a tank inside there. But yeah, you can't open them. And I imagine they will be getting opened within next week's update, which is going to be so cool where Colombo will escape, but he is currently captured by Dr. Sloan on the Chapter 3 island, which I think kind of does suck. For our next secret is about Command's Cavern as well. If you guys have realized that this plate is getting bigger and bigger. Down in the back, you guys can see this is where originally drills were, and it's expanded, bro. It looks like this POI will be expanding throughout seasonal updates with our next one being the mid-season update in season two which is going to be super super cool so be on the lookout next update if you guys do see this location change and get bigger and bigger it's going to be pretty cool by the end of the season we then have a possible moon knight skin coming out very soon as well as this new series has just started on disney plus and epic games and disney invited some fortnite content creators to 
to a premiere event about this Moon Knight show, and the same happened with Dune, and a collab took place shortly after, so we could possibly be seeing a brand new Moon Knight collab come out very soon, which I actually think would be insane. The skin would be so cool. It would obviously have two styles, obviously, the normal style and then the Moon Knight style, but it's going to be pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a Moon Knight skin come into the game. But data miners have been looking around in the files and found some insane new vehicles, starting with a new quad bike. Obviously, we already have the quad crash in the game, so my guess is it'll just be a normal quad bike without that snow plow on the front of the quad crasher, which is going to go much faster. And then when you guys do find a cow catcher, you guys can throw the cow catcher onto this quad bike and it'll make it a quad crasher. So these are going to be really cool, bro. I'm actually very excited for new vehicles to come out. We then have a ballers returning. Yes, you heard it right. A ballers will be coming back this season, but with a huge buff coming with 400 HP. They were currently getting work done in the game files and the original ballers did have 350 HP, then got nerfed down to 200 and 150 HP for the World Cup. So this is going to be very, very cool. I'm so excited for the ballers to return, bro. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited as well. We then have a brand new 7 helicopter arriving this season as well, which I cannot wait for, bro. It's going to be pretty cool. The choppers were originally released in Chapter 2 Season 2 and they will be making a return in Chapter 3 Season 2 and will be the next fundable vehicle. Just like the Armored Battle Bus, we had to fund gold to unlock that. We're going to be seeing something similar with this 7 helicopter most likely be coming out next week, which is going to be so amazing, bro. This thing looks insane. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this helicopter. The IO are also going to be getting some new vehicles being planes. Yes, in the trailer, you guys could see planes come from the back of Dr. Sloan, which I'm not going to lie, I'm not looking forward to these X4 Stormings coming to the game because they are so overpowered, bro. They are so OP. So it looks like planes will be coming for the IO side and helicopters will be coming for the 7 side. The secret number 13 is the brand new Mythic Weapon being an updated version of the Wolverine Claws, which is going to be so, so sick. And these will be returning next update, which is actually going to be next week. But if you guys do head over to Hunt Master Saber at the Command Cavern Blimp, and if you guys do get close to him, he will use a new melee attack, which is the updated claw effect. So this is what the new Wolverine Claws are going to be animated like, and are going to be pretty cool, bro. I'm not going to lie, I'm very excited for these to come into the game because they were just so fun to use. And talking about new items, the jetpack will also be getting added into the game in next week's update as well. As it were seen in the zero build trailer on these little hook things on the blimp, and they're going to be so, so fun, bro. Jetpacks in general are so amazing. So I am very excited to actually finally use these once again inside of Fortnite. For Secret 15, we have a new information on Miles Morales. As you guys know, the secret skin for this season is Prowler, which will be releasing in 19 days, basically two weeks time, which is actually Miles Morales' uncle inside of the Miles Morales game. So when Prowler does release, Miles Morales should also be coming into the item shop with him as well, which is going to be so cool, bro. I'm very, very excited for it. And we could also possibly be seeing the return of the Mythic Web Shooters, as they are still in the game files as a usable item. So we could possibly be seeing a Miles Morales version of these as well, which is going to be super, super cool. Next up, it's actually very, very good. So as you guys know, in Fortnite right now, there are no builds on the island. And obviously, you have to take natural cover, like behind rocks, behind trees, and behind buildings and stuff. But this actually does destroy pretty quickly. Fortnite are adjusting the health on these objects when you do shoot them. So it will take more ammunition to actually destroy that, so you do have a better chance of healing very, very quickly, which I think is a really cool thing Fortnite are doing. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about no builds, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this is the most fun I've ever had inside of Fortnite in a very, very long time. Probably in years, bro. No builds in this game just feels so, so new and it just gives me OG vibes. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited and are having fun with no builds. And finally, for our final secret of today's video, we have two new free rewards you guys can get through Twitch drops starting on April the 4th, where you guys can get the steady aim loading screen and the open fire wrap. So make sure you guys are heading over to Twitch, find one of your favorite Fortnite streamers who do have drops enabled, watch his streams for a little bit and you will receive these rewards for completely free. But to get this, you do need to make sure your Twitch account and your Epic Games account are linked. So make sure you guys do go link them. The link in the description for that will be down below. So make sure you guys do go and link these to get these two amazing free rewards coming out in two days time, which
which are going to be pretty cool. But those are already brand new secrets we have for you guys in today's video. We have a load of new cool things coming out in next week's update, including Clombos returning, a load of brand new awesome collabs, new weapons, and much, much more. So make sure you guys are on the lookout. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember, if you guys are new out here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button for me. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code, Apple One. It literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.